<laughs> What's happening, guys? Hey, the film chuck here. Does it look like I got some color? Because I was out at a pool for about three hours today. A little bit. So, didn't put any sunscreen on because I'm half Mexican. I should be all right, right? <laughs> no, it's not the case. I remember when I was younger, I thought that was the case. And uh, sadly, no. You can get, I can still get burned pretty bad. I, it turns into a nice tan. I'll give it that much. That's what's great about having that Mexican skin, that little bit of that. And I've even, even when I've um, gotten massages, like the masseuse will be like, God, oh, your skin is so nice. Why am I telling you this? I swear I go off on tangents. What's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. I actually meant to shoot this video just before I left because, you know, it's just, it's holiday weekend. I had friends that were staying at a resort. They said, hey, we're going to be barbecuing tonight. Come by, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, yeah, I'll do that. Um, they were actually there all week and I was going to go yesterday, but then that, that didn't happen today. But anyways, I was going to shoot this video talking about Wonder Woman. There we go. I got just under a minute. <laughs> I'm looking at the counter right there. You know, the title of this video, I, I spoke, I spoke about under a minute. So give me credit for that. But, um, dude, this movie just has legs. I mean, that's what I gotta commend. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, we could have a debate on when it comes to like the DCEU films, which one's better and stuff like that. A lot of people just sit flat out and say, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. And you know, to me, it's not the case. I mean, it's up there. You know, when it comes to, you know, Batman, Superman, Man of Steel, and Wonder Woman, they're very close, you know, but just Wonder Woman, just to me, there's a little bit of the things that just made it a little weaker for me. But uh, regardless of that, I still loved it. I watched it on Friday. I freaking I was like, oh yeah, it's out. Digital copy, bam, bam. Let's watch this shiz, finally. You know? Because there was like bootlegs out there with like subtitles. I don't really like that. But I was like, nah, wait, you know. So, you know, you pick it up and just stream it right to my TV and I watched it. And it's, it's really, it's really freaking good. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess you say Aries, yeah, a little bit disappointing, you know, with that. But the point of this video is it's got legs. This movie's just got legs. It is now the top five highest grossing superhero film of all time, domestically. Okay, 409 mil, it's like that right now. But it passed Civil War. It passed the original Iron Man. Wow, did not see that one coming. I didn't think it was going to beat those, but Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's under like Dark Knight, Avengers, you know, it's under those. I mean, it won't pass. It, it'll stay in the number five spot. I don't think it'll go any farther because it's, it's already going to almost be out of, I mean, you can now download it and watch it uh, you know in your own home but it's just it's just nuts that you know here when did it come out in july june i don't remember when it came out but it's been out for months and it's still just go 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 i mean it just shows you right there that you know a lot of people have been waiting for a wonder woman so of course that was naturally but the fact of the matter is it wasn't just like oh we got to push this see that's why when people like tell me hey you know why why did it take so long to have a wonder woman i'm like because it needed to be the right time see See, see that poster right there? It needed to be the right time. And that's the right time, right there. Okay, it was the perfect, Batman or Superman was perfect to introduce her, to get people excited for her, and then to hire a talented director and, a, and have talented writers and everybody working on it. And they made a good movie. It wasn't just like, it wasn't a gimmick or anything like that. It wasn't just like, oh man, everybody wants female heroes. I gotta, let's do this. No, they, they, were, they waited for the right time and they got good talented creative people to do it you know so that's why I, what i say about that but yeah congratulations patty jenkins gal gadot it's all that you, you just it's a beast you know it is the, the movie is a beast and that's what you don't see that nowadays you don't see movies have legs like this like if you look at if you go on box office mojo which i frequent because i look up like old movies i start looking at you know, the opening weekend and what else was out and how long it's been out. And back then, a lot of, a lot of movies didn't come out, you know, right away. You know, there was breaks in between. So movies were allowed to have legs and to grow and to get bigger. And a lot of movies did. You know, it'd be like 16 weeks and it's still making this money. We're like, what the hell? It's weird. But we don't see that too much anymore because it's usually like, bam, it's out. And then it's gone within like three weeks, it almost seems sometimes, with some movies. They're bad ones. But uh, this one just, yeah, just shows you right there. You know, it was a perfect time to do it. They had talented people, and, and they, they made a good movie. So there you go. Congratulations, Wonder Woman. And uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. How many times have you watched it now? I think I'm around, eh, well, let's see. I probably watched it, what, four times now, I think? I think I've watched it four times now. After Friday, it's been four times, yeah. It's good. It's good. Can't wait for more. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.